Good morning children. Now we know what is the shoot system. So let us understand about the stem modifications which are there to perform certain specific tasks. First, what is the shoot system? The part of the plant which grows above the ground is called the shoot and the part which grows below the ground is called roots. We saw the major functions of stem which are the stem holds the leaves, buds, flowers and the fruits. We also saw the stem acts as a pipeline to conduct water and minerals to the other parts of the plant and also the food prepared from the leaves to the other parts of the plants. We also saw that certain plants can multiply by stem cuttings. So if we plant the stem cuttings, we get a new plant. For example, in the case of rose and hibiscus. Now, let us see the stem modifications which are there to perform special functions. What do we see here? Here we see tendrils. And what are these? Actually, these are the modified stems. So in certain plants, the stem gets modified into thin tendrils which are used for climbing a support or holding on to a support. For example, in case of grapevine, pea plant and bittergourd plant, the stems get modified into tendrils which are used for climbing on the support. Now you must have heard about cactus which grows in the desert climate and the climate of desert is very dry and hot. So how does the cactus adapt to the desert climate? Let us see. You know it is due to the modification of its stem and the leaves. Here we see these are the stems of the plant cactus. The stem here is green in color and flattened like a leaf. Why? This is because in cactus it is the stem which performs the photosynthesis process meaning it can prepare food. Not only this, as the water is scarce, the stems also store water. So the stems store water too. And what about the leaves? The leaves are reduced to spines so that the loss of water is minimum due to transpiration. Next, in certain plants, the stem acts as a storage organ and stores the extra food. For example, in case of potato, in case of onion and in the case of ginger and garlic too. Let us see how. You know in case of potatoes we see eyes. So here we have an eye. Eye is nothing but a bud which can grow into a new plant. This type of underground stem which becomes swollen due to storage of food is called a tuber. So potato is an example of tuber which is an underground stem and stores food. Same way what about onion? Onion is a bulb and this is also a modified stem to be specific an underground modified stem. Here we see the onion has layers of scales which are actually leaves and inside there is a bud and also we see the base of the onion has roots that onion is an underground stem and it is called a bulb what about ginger? ginger is a rhizome it is also an underground stem which has small leaves and roots and it grows horizontally underground. So, 
we can say ginger is an underground stem which is called rhizome the underground stems get modified to store food in different ways such as rhizome bulb or tuber so remember children in certain plants the stem gets modified to perform special task and what are these the green stems manufacture food as we saw in the case of cactus the tuber rhizome and the bulb are the underground stems which store food also the fleshy stems store food as in the case of cactus jade plant etc and also the tuber rhizome and bulbs apart from storing food help in multiplication of plant and last but not the least in certain plants stem gets modified into tendrils which supports the plant to climb up so that was all about the modification of stems bye bye children